let's discuss about the system UI architecture. So in this session, we will have a look at some of the most important system UI classes. And later, we will have a code walkthrough through these classes. So as we can see, the system UI components share some common characteristics. Like for example, the status bar, navigation bar, volume UI, toast UI, etc. All these components have these characteristics in common. So it has to be initialized. So the initialization has to be handled for all these components. And then it has to change according to the state of the system. So whenever the state of the Android OS changes, it has to react. So for example, when the battery charge is low, then it has to show a notification, right? Third one is that it has to dump logs. So this is basically to assist the developers to debug these components. And then when the system is started, there should be a corresponding logic which has to be executed for all these components. So for example, when the system is booted, it has to show the status bar. So, and similarly, it has to also show the navigation bar. So these common logic has to be implemented. So since all the system UI components uh, share this common behavior, so there is an abstract class called system UI, which is extended by all these components. So we'll have a look at all these classes by when we do the code walkthrough. So for now, just understand that there is a system UI abstract class, which is extended by all of the system UI components. So there are a few exceptions, few system UI components, which doesn't extend system UI, but most of them do. So let's switch to IntelliJ. Okay, so I have IntelliJ here with the system UI project open. So you can find the system UI class under the system UI package. It's here. Yeah. So as you can see, the system UI is an abstract class. And it has some important methods defined in it. So the first one is start method. And as you can see, it's an abstract method. So this has to be implemented within the subclass. So for example, the toast UI, which extends the system UI class should actually implement the logic for the start method. Okay. So we'll see some examples later. Similarly, we have the on configuration changed. So this is a callback method. So this method has to react to some configuration change. This is basically to handle any system state changes. So for example, when the um, battery charge goes down, it has to show a toast. So that could be configured, could be defined here. So you could uh, add some logic here to show an alert or some other mechanism to let the user know that um, power has gone down. And then we have the dump. So this is basically for the logging purpose. So here you can dump the logs from the system. So, and this log will be used by the developers using ADB to see what's happening with the system UI. So for example, if they find some something wrong with the navigation bar or the status bar and if they want to find out what exactly happening to the uh, system UI then um, they could dump this log within ADB and then they could debug it. So this is basically to assist the debugging and then we have on boot completed. This is again a callback and this is basically to handle the event when the boot is completed. So any subclass which extends the system UI has to take care of these uh, methods. Okay. So let's have a look at some of the classes which extends system UI. Control Shift F, find extends system UI. Okay. So here you go.
So you can see all these all these classes here like the volume ui green decorations uh, vendor services system actions uh, window magnification so all these are actually part of the system ui okay, the toast ui and the notification channels power ui so there are a lot of classes which actually extends the system ui let's open up the volume ui and see how it is implemented okay so it's extending system ui it has overridden the start method which is an abstract method and here it has defined the logic for that and on on configuration change it has implemented this particular logic and also for dumping the log it has written this code okay so maybe we can have a quick look at some other classes so let's open up post ui that should be a simple one so in the start method it has defined this logic here the functions to handle short host and high toast so since it doesn't need to react to any system state it has not implemented the other uh, methods okay let's take power ui so the power ui extends system ui it also implements command q okay so let's see the start method uh, is defined here and on configuration change is defined here and then it has some other custom logics to find the battery level and all those other stuff which is required to implement the power ui screen and should also have a dump method let's see where it is So it is also printing all these out to the output so that the um, developers can debug it. Okay. In short, uh, all the system UI components share some similar behavior. And due to that reason, we have an abstract class called system UI. And this system UI is extended by most of the system UI components.